Uh, I didn't have time to show you in the video. Uh, like I said, I did the same thing with these, only uh, I put two layers, and each time uh, I put a layer in, I made sure I put a layer of super glue, first on the plastic, then to the first piece, then on the top of the second piece, uh, and then I did the same thing where I found the center point by making an X. Um, then I super glued the wheels to the axle. Now I know, you know, that there's a bit of looseness there. <laughs> but fortunately, when it rolls, that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty nice roll. There's not a lot of uh, looseness when you when it pushes around. It's it's not bad. Um, all right, the next step is to attach the mouse trap. All right, we're on the second to last step, and that is attaching the arm to the mouse trap itself. Now, remember when I told you not to cut that really long part that was on the coat hanger? This is why. This is your arm for the thing. Now, as you can see right here, I went and I curved it at the end so that when you tie a string to it, it's not just going to fall off or go down the rest of the arm. Uh, the whole thing... Oh, it's just over a foot in length. Um, you could probably make yours, if it was made out of anything that was lighter, like uh, for my actual, my good mouse trap car, that used a fiberglass kite dowel, and that is at least three times lighter weight and about two inches longer than this. Um, so that's, you know, that's why it really goes like stink when you when I launch it because uh, the arm is nice and lightweight and it's not taking a lot of energy to swing it. This is going to take a little more to uh, heave it over, but it still should be light enough that it's not going to cause the car to do anything crazy when you let it go. Um, so how we're going to attach it is using a little bit of duct tape and some wire. Going to wrap it around. So it'll fit right there on the mouse trap. Now I'll go ahead and do that and show you the end result. All right. Uh, turns out I didn't have to use the duct tape. Um, I wrapped the wire around tight enough. Let's see if you can there. Where uh, I didn't have to. I guess I didn't have to use the duct tape. It's pretty tight wrapped around there. Um, I can barely even turn it. The best way to get a great tension, um, especially for how I have the wires wrapped around uh, a couple of other times the other way, uh, make sure that you use needle nose pliers. And when you grab the wire um, to tighten it, you just simply twist, and it's just going to act like a oh, like a winch and just tighten it to a point uh, that you can't um, you just can't pull it that tight with your hands regularly. So once you've gotten that all secure, and, you know, this thing is, it ain't going anywhere. Last step, take your mousetrap car, or take your mousetrap, and glue it on to the vehicle. Ah. Alright, yeah, that, that'll work. <laughs> Barely misses the ground. All right, I need to just make sure the back side is the side that I put more glue on than the front because it's at a bit of an angle. But yep, just attach the mousetrap car. Um, oh, I forgot the string. <laughs> All right, well as soon as I've attached the mousetrap to the car, I'll um, I'll get some strings and show you what type of string you need. All right. These are the last two steps. I went ahead and did them because I don't think it'd be that hard. All right, those two wide rubber bands, all I did was just slide them on the rear wheels. No glue, no nothing. Um, it's a good, solid fit. It's about, what is that? Inch and a half. So if you can find rubber bands that are about uh, an inch wide and then just stretch them over the wheels, that should be just fine. Maybe a little bigger than that. All right. Now, what I went for the 
string here. I want kite string. So even more reason, str even stronger agree now. Go to the dollar store uh, and pick up a plastic kite. Take the plastic kite dowel, use that as your arm, and then take the string they give you and use that uh, for the string for the mousetrap car. So that way it would even be better than what this is because it would be that much lighter. Alright, I got the mousetrap wound up. The best way you can tell if it's going to be uh, wound up too much, it's going to pull a wheelie, is if you're holding on to the wheel and the body uh, backs up like that or more. So we should be at a point where I can just let it go and it's going to go flying forward. Try and angle it a little better so I can let it go as far as it will go when it coasts. Alright, three, two, one. And it still took off the ground. That has got loads of torque. Uh. All right. Uh, word of advice to anyone who builds this thing, put some heavy weights in the front because it has way too much torque and will easily flip over. I got two nice big coins in the front taped underneath, so that way I can have it lined up, laying almost all the way as far back as it's going to go. And I'm going to see how far this thing will coast after it's launched. So, without any further ado, let's see what the homemade mousetrap car can do. Right. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's pretty quick. I'd say that's faster than any, oh, kit car. It'll cost you, what, maybe ten bucks? With a stupid instruction manual. Or, you can just easily, uh, Oh, sh it broke a wheel. <laughs> oh, man, it broke a wheel on the front. It went so fast. Oh, well, that stinks. Well, okay. Now, you see, that's just how fast it goes. It's so quick, it'll destroy itself. But only after it's gotten the job done. So, a little time and energy. This probably took grand total uh, an hour to cut everything and glue everything, let everything dry nice and hard. Alright, um, so yeah, and that, if that's the case, strongly, strongly recommend you go with either some already pre-made plastic wheels for the front or redo the design for these, um, oh, the juice caps for the back wheels, do the same for the front minus the rubber bands because those are much more durable than, uh, Oh, then apparently, um, I can't think of what they're called, the medicine cups that have been cut and then had <laughs> uh, cardboard stuffed in them. But, I, once again, I would say that's pretty quick for a car made of cardboard, popsicle sticks, juice caps, and a coat hanger. 